but it's kind of like this now more than ever mm -hmm. feeling that I have every day that the tools that I've been using for 20 years are needed twice as much as they've ever been Amen. before. Amen, and you're exactly <laughs> right. And so, so it's almost like it's like the best of times and worst of times, you know, mm -hmm. it's the worst of times with stress, but you know, as a practitioner using these tools, mm -hmm. I just get pumped up more than ever before to be able to help people not just survive stress, but actually thrive better than they were, you know, with it. You're listening to the Nutrition World Podcast, a show about navigating the intricacies of holistic wellness. We're a natural health food store located in Chattanooga, Tennessee, and we believe that optimal health and peak performance should be accessible to everyone. Hey guys, welcome back to the podcast. My name is Brian Strickland, I'm the producer of the show. And on today's episode, we have the pleasure of welcoming David Hogsett into the studio. David is in full-time practice in Fort Myers, Florida at the Natural Healthcare Professionals Clinic, and he specializes in providing nutritional therapies for stress reduction and herbal therapies, digestive health, and so much more. But today we wanted to pick his brain in particular about stress because it's something that we're all experiencing. In fact, many of us are experiencing more of it than ever before. So David's going to provide some natural solutions and remedies and things that you can do in your own life in order to track stress and help reduce it. We have a great conversation. David was wonderful. He's full of energy, and we really think that you're going to enjoy today's episode. So with that being said, let's hop into the conversation with Ed Jones and David Hoxson. Today we have a, a guy that I've looked forward to coming to this podcast, Nutritional World, and David Hogshead with Standard Process. And I want to talk about stress. And the title we're going to we're speak on today is How to Survive uh, Stress Overload. And of course, I think everyone can communicate with that during the past few years and with COVID and everything going on. But even with normal life, there's a tremendous amount of load that comes with this gunning all the time and never slowing down and and pushing and pushing like we're a Ford F-150 truck and we just push that accelerator panel uh, pedal down. And I know personally, being 65 years old, that the devastation that can come from that. And, uh, you know, I'm like Christopher Columbus. I'm out there journeying into every kind of island and land there is to discover what can I use for myself that I can also share with other people. And so today we welcome Nutrition World to Nutritional Podcast, David Hogshead. Thank you so Standard much for having me. Yes. Great to be here. And you know, before and we you've get... already inspired me to know your, your 60 what? <laughs> 65. 65. Well, in two weeks I will arms? be. Does everybody see these arms? <laughs> Well, I will brag now. I have a TikTok videos that have 2.8 million views, and I only started six months ago. It's called Ed Jones 63 if you're on TikTok, and it all has to do with gym and how to work out and how to be the most fit you can. But we're going to talk today about, you know, what is kind of maybe just for a minute, what is stress and why it's devastating us. And there's nothing wrong with modest stress. Stress right. is a... A wonderful thing in our life, but it's not when it's overwhelming us and it's depressing every system, including the immune system. And I talk a lot about my aura ring. My aura ring has something on it which analyzes all my sleep patterns, the deep and the rim. And and now actually starting yesterday, reads my oxygen levels. 20, you know, during my sleep, which is phenomenal, but also reads heart rate variability. And I remember a good friend of mine, Dr. Resnick, he tested every single patient who was a functional medicine physician that walked into his office for this HRV, heart rate variability. Why is that important? Well, it tells the balance between the parasympathetic and sympathetic nervous system. Well, what is that? It's kind of like the gas on your car and the brake on your car. And there's nothing wrong with pushing the gas, but you got to appropriately put the brakes on. And that's what we don't do sometimes in this society, which is rest and dis disconnecting from the world and allowing ourselves to find that, that, that gentle grounding that we lost in the old days sometimes. Because, you know, I remember growing up, and you may too, you know, there were a lot of boring times during our young yep. years. Those were valuable. I miss Be boredom. I know. <laughs> I and today we all, not all, but most people run from that and they distract themselves instantly with this or TV or eating or drinking or talking or, and that's not good for this whole system. So I've talked a lot about it right now. I'm just kind of ramble on as people know that I do. No, so I tell us a little bit about your story. You've had 20 years with Standard Process. Yeah. Standard Process is 
I guess the oldest company in this industry. They've been around since 1929, and they believe in food. They believe in the power of, of farming and how to make supplements based on connection to the energy of the earth. But without that being said, uh, tell us about what you are and why we want to talk about this stress thing. Well, thank you so much. And yeah, I, uh, uh, just real quick on the Aura Ring, uh, it it is one of the best stress assessment tools that's out there. And and you see, I'm not wearing mine because ignorance was bliss for a while with uh-huh. <laughs> not knowing what my sleep quality was like, uh-huh. you know, going through a stressful time and waking up every morning and seeing, you know, like you said, that pushing the accelerator on and mm-hmm. you see what your sleep quality score is. You're like, I think I'll put this away for a few I weeks. I know, but- I understand that. <laughs> yeah. so, like this morning, I didn't think I slept too well and I thought, <laughs> I don't really want to look at the score. Yeah. And Aura is spelled O-U-R-A if anyone wants to order it. It's just online and you just order it. Yeah, I w- uh, definitely want to get back to that because it, it, it is such a great stress tracking tool. But mm-hmm. uh, So I've actually, my introduction to this whole fun, crazy world of, of nutrition was 30 years ago. I was the shortest kid in my class, mm-hmm. wanted to play basketball, way past due for my growth spurt. And my dad is a chiropractor. He just retired about a year and a half ago. And he had just heard about a company called Standard Process. He wasn't using it, but a lot of chiropractors were. Mm-hmm. And so he took me to this seminar. And back then it was this famous speaker, chiropractor named Dr. Versendahl. And he does muscle testing techniques. A lot mm-hmm. of, you know, your viewers may be familiar with that. Somebody's muscle tested them to mm-hmm. see what kind of uh, uh, organ imbalances there are, what nutrition might be helpful for them. So I went to this seminar. It was the first nutrition class I'd ever been to, scared to death, didn't know what to make, you know, of all these people. And and he actually got me signed up to be one of the people tested mm-hmm. up front, you know, to see if I, something that could get me to grow. So it's my turn. I walk up there. And it's being filmed. It's about 200 people. And so he muscle tests me. He gets to my pituitary gland. My arm goes weak. And he said, this boy has a pituitary problem. And if he doesn't take pituitrophin PMG from standard process, he's going to remain a boy for the rest of his life. Wow. So I just sheepishly walked off. (laughs) And that was my very first introduction, not just to nutrition, but specifically to standard Uh process. And so I started taking that supplement and it's a pituitary nuclear protein extract mm-hmm. and it unlocked what was inhibiting my growth hormone from my pituitary gland, grew to a normal height. Mm-hmm. And at 15 years old, I just knew I want to be involved in this somehow. And didn't know how, didn't know exactly mm-hmm. what path, but that led me to acupuncture in Florida. We have a great license and, you know, you can do herbs and nutrition and mm-hmm. all these great things. And uh, so it, it's been about 20 years that, you know, my practice uh, is just focused exclusively or, or mostly on standard process nutrition. I love and, that. And it's not that you're selling product, you're selling a philosophy and a plan that can help people by empowering them. And people who've listened to many of my old podcasts, uh, my personal story is kind of similar. I was about 11 years old and my dad said, hey, we have a lady coming to our house tonight from Shackley. And I still remember so well being enamored yep. by the fact that she said, nutrients help the body to be healthier and live longer with less disease. And a light went off on yep. me. It was like, why doesn't everyone know this? If Because that makes such sense to me. And I think that was one of the turning points for me to have this passion for nutrition and learning so I can help other people, including myself. Oh, that must have been a momentous night. It was. And I you know, the thing about what you're talking about is you're you're talking about ways that we can empower the weaker parts of our body with non-synthetic methods that help us to reach the optimal levels. I love your uh, your story of being young and then the pituitary and the muscle testing. My view on muscle testing is I think there are people who are really good at it and I mm-hmm. think people who think they're good at it. Yep. You got to find the ones who are truly good at it, who are not just trying to sell products. There's science behind it, but it is an art form. And And art also. Yep. So uh, tell us more about what can we do about this stress and how can we support ourselves? Oh, well, you know, it's, it's, it's kind of like, and I know you, you probably had this epiphany so many times in the last couple of years is you've always been passionate about nutrition. You know, you've had decades of doing this and such gratification to see Mm -hmm. these benefits with nutrition with the people, you know, that come in. But it's kind of like this now more than ever mm-hmm. feeling that I have every day that the tools that I've been using for 20 years 
are needed twice as much as they've ever been Amen. before. Amen. And You're exactly right. <laughs> and so so it's almost like it's like the best of times and worst of times. You know, mm-hmm. it's the worst of times with stress, but you know, as a practitioner using these tools, mm-hmm. I just get pumped up more than ever before to be able to help people not just survive stress, but actually thrive better than they were, you know, with it. And, you know, you mentioned in, in your intro, I think you talked about, you know, a long distance long ago word, normal life, that's mm-hmm. just gone. <laughs> yeah, gone. And yeah, we're just at this continuous stuck accelerator pedal to the metal zone now, and that may mm-hmm. never change. And so we have to increase the resiliency of our body more than ever before to deal with stress. You know, I like that because the truth is this, the, the techniques and the options we have today will never change. Yep. We have to build our ability to handle it and be more wise about this. So tell us some advice on that. Yeah, well, there's when, when I talk about stress management, I like to break it into different mm-hmm. tools because you know everybody, you, you've noticed that everybody's unique. You know, everybody's mm-hmm. got different unique nutritional needs, different herbal needs, you know, different therapeutic needs that benefit them more than other people. But there's also some absolutes Mm -hmm. for stress management, especially in the modern American person that's walking around out there eating the the average American diet. There's some absolutes that every American is deficient in or borderline deficient in that everybody could benefit from supplementing. So one of the absolutes that just I found and my conviction is growing every day Mm -hmm. with it is every American is behind and below their optimal requirements of B vitamin okay. status. So, you know, and a lot of that goes to not just uh, what we don't get in the diet anymore, but what we live off of. You know, refined carbs, refined sugar, mm-hmm. alcohol, medications, all these things that have made this perfect storm of B vitamin deficiency. And if we took a time machine 50 years ago, you know, people were eating, still eating really good quality B mm-hmm. vitamin foods for stress management that our nervous system needs, our brains, our adrenal glands, you know, uh, blood sugar stability. And the biggest example I like to use is liver. You know, people used to eat liver and and depending on the ages listening, you know, Mm -hmm. some people will be listening. They're like, I never ate liver. Well, if you're, you know, 30 and below or or probably even 40 and below, Mm -hmm. you, you probably never did eat liver. But anybody over 50 remembers, Mm -hmm. you know, eating liver at least once a week. And when you look at the nutrient profile, there's there's no better food source of B vitamins for stress management than good old fashioned liver. And it's gone. It's like the last time our country was in agreement about anything. (laughs) You know, (laughs) we're we're so divided on everything, but the Uh last thing we've all been unified on is liver is gross and we're not eating anymore. So we lost a major B vitamin food source. Another big one, and this one is a little easier in that people might bring back into their diet nutritional yeast. You know, mm-hmm. that's another phenomenal whole food B vitamin source that everybody used to know about mm-hmm. and it just slipped through the cracks. It, it disappeared. Did. So we've got this perfect storm that we lost two really foundational B vitamin foods mm-hmm. at the same time that we started ramping up sugar, carbohydrates, alcohol consumption that deplete and steal B vitamins from our body. And when that happens, the, the deficiency causes <laughs> adrenal dysfunction and it yep. causes the inability to convert food to energy and to stabilize brain chemicals and all this with uh, homocysteine and, and the MTHFR gene. I mean, you can and fill sleep, up qual- page, sleep quality. Sleep quality. Poor sleep is the biggest thing I see in my practice with it. People yeah. that they're exhausted, uh-huh. they're just looking forward to hitting the pillow, they're going to you know, they're going to fall asleep but they pop awake mm-hmm. in a couple mm-hmm. hours. I get about 50% success using no other therapy than really? just whole food B vitamin extracts for that type well, of patient. Well, and the key that you're saying is whole food. Whole now, food. I do, you know, there's part of our industry, and, I, and I'm certainly a part of that too, that there are a lot of medical studies on more synthetic things with, in, the, in the world of nutrition and health, and it's valuable. We mm-hmm. don't ignore that, but I'm still leaning more to whole food because 
We'll never be smarter than Mother Nature, yep. ever. And I don't like folic acid, which is a big a whole controversy that you find in every health food store. Most of their bees are full of folic. It, nature produces folate, not yep. folic, and folic is not healthy. We've eliminated 99% of every folic acid product at Nutrition World because we don't know we know it's not healthy. Yeah. So, uh, And it was funny because I look at TikTok a lot. I mean, I just have learned a lot from TikTok. I'm telling you, 30 minutes before I walked in here, there's a guy on TikTok called the Liver King. Yes, he Liver said King. exactly He's awesome. <laughs> what you just said. I, I, I wish I looked ago. like Liver King. I'm sorry, but <laughs> <laughs> you're close to Liver King. <laughs> uh, just exactly. So how it was kind of gave me cold chills, <laughs> like when you said that. So, and I'm not a liver person. I've literally taken one bite in my whole life, and yeah, I don't nobody like the consistency anymore. of nobody. it. Yeah, but I, I would do a, I would do a whole food supplement <laughs> now. Yes. So. Tell us more about that. Yeah, so uh, the one that I, uh, there's there's a supplement I literally give every single one of my patients called Catapux B Core. Okay. Whole food B vitamin base. And when you look at the ingredient list, the first ingredient, surprise, surprise, liver. Ah. To get those whole food nutrients, uh-huh. even whole food sources of folate too. Uh, one of the worst news pieces about folate and folic acid is green leafy vegetables are some of the best sources of folate. Mm-hmm. Who gets enough of that? Yeah. You know, so- that leads to a second absolute, great mm-hmm. segue, uh, to stress management. Everybody is low in those minerals. You mentioned the gas pedal accelerator and the brakes. What our body uses is the brakes for the nervous system are minerals, and especially mm-hmm. the type of minerals that come from green vegetables. Mm-hmm. So when we're deficient in green vegetables, we don't have it, no matter how exhausted we are, it feels like we can never shut things off. Our mind's always racing when we lay down like, we get muscle cramps, restless leg. We can't shut our brains down. A lot of that is because of we just don't get green vegetables. Mm. So, and uh, and not to interrupt, but with yeah. people who call eating canned green beans green vegetables, <laughs> that's not green vegetables, people. It's not. We we you know first off. We got to have things that are more closer to the ground that aren't canned that are more fresh that have more phytochemicals in them like Brussels sprouts and and cabbage and yep. broccoli. We don't count corn and potatoes and canned green beans, vegetables, please. By yeah. the way, I saw uh, USDA a couple years ago, they had a graph of the most consumed vegetables in the US, mm-hmm. potatoes and tomatoes, uh-huh. number one and two, <laughs> which translates to French fries and ketchup. <gasps> wow, yes. So they take all that into consideration when they make the most consumed vegetables. Wow. So Mm-mm-mm. yeah, we're in trouble uh, with green vegetables for mm-hmm. our minerals. So what are the minerals in green vegetables that help us slow down when it's time to slow down? Magnesium, mm-hmm. potassium, two of the biggest. And once again, those are minerals that the more carbs and sugar you eat, mm-hmm. the more of those minerals you lose. Oh. So another supplement, an absolute in my practice, I give everybody a concentrated green vegetable supplement as a natural source of those minerals to calm down. And I know you have a lot of great ones you use. Mm -hmm. Yes, I mean, I drink a green drink every day. I mean, I talk about my my breakfast drink, which I've been doing for years. I saw your video, your breakfast shake today. That was inspiring. And you know, thank you. And it, you know, it's more keto based, but it always has green vegetables in it. And I told, I tell people probably 10 times a week, I said, I've tried to take it out, it doesn't work if the green vegetables are not in there. One is it makes you more alkaline. When you're acidic, you're going to be more disease prone and more likely to not feel as well. So greens are very alkaline. We need to help offset some of those other things yeah. we do. Uh, so your greens, I mean, Standard Process obviously has some green products too. Oh, yeah. They, they have a beautiful organic farm uh, in Palmyra, Wisconsin, the middle of nowhere. Ah. But yeah, about 80% of what goes into the formulas are actually grown organically right really? there on site. Yeah. I love that. So amazing. And like you said, 1929, Royal, Dr. Royal Lee, he was a uh, mm-hmm. genius in the realm of engineering, you know, many patents uh, with, with engineering, uh, uh, the governors that regulate a lot of the technology we use today mm-hmm. with blenders, motors, dental drills. Uh, so he was the first, actually, to develop ways that we could extract. You know, today we don't think anything a big deal about a food supplement. But back in his day, nobody mm-hmm. had the technology available to actually process a food, put it into tablet or capsule form, and preserve the nutrients, the enzymes, the minerals, mm-hmm. the vitamins, without it decaying. And he was really the first to tap into that. We so, are blessed to uh, 
to even have you know the ability to take supplements like that. But yeah. back in those days, I cannot imagine. And I'm just, you know, of course, I love this industry to death because it's profoundly impactful on people's mm -hmm. health if they do it properly. I say this on my radio show, vitalhealthradio.com, constantly. The World Health Organization says 70% of all uh, basic, if we put the word medicines that are in that people use are botanical medicines. That wow. means it's from the earth. It's an herbal thing. Why do they do that? It's inexpensive. It's safe if it's a good product, and it works. Yep. And so this country is not part of that seventy percent because the medical system doesn't train people on this. It takes people's like doctor of acupuncture and herbalist and people who have a passion to learn this. Now, luckily, more and more physicians are stepping outside the box and becoming integrated or functional, and that's allowing a lot of people to access uh, that. I mean, in fact, we now oh, have an yeah, uh, integrated physician here in in nutritional world, uh, Dr. Brian Johnson, who's incredible, and uh, you can book an appointment with him at nutritionw.com on the website if you choose to do that. Uh, but I love the whole philosophy of standard process, and I will say, you know, I have heard thousands, at least a thousand stories of not in our center here because we didn't carry standard process for 42 of the 43 years, but the amount of stories that came to me from outside of my kidneys were struggling and I took a kidney support, mm -hmm. not a nutrient that right. we sell, but a kidney support, basically like your pituitary. You're yep. talking about exactly that. It supported your pituitary to be optimal, did not treat it, it supported it. And you can do that with every body part, can't well, you? You bring up a great point. You know, when you're talking stress management, there's, and, and this is a concept that's so foreign to modern America, but like you mentioned, around the whole world, it's mm -hmm. still very well known that, you know, you eat organs to stay healthy. Yes. You know, we, we just eat, you know, if we eat anything from the animal, mm -hmm. it's it's the meat, uh, the muscle meat, and that's mm -hmm. it. But that is a very foreign concept to all of human history. You know, throughout all human history, we ate the organs. And the most important organ to help us manage stress today is actually eating or taking in supplement form the more realistic way, uh, adrenal glands. Uh -huh. You know, our adrenal glands, mm -hmm. uh, many of your listeners probably heard you talk about adrenals a lot. Uh, There's like your stress batteries, you know, that, that help you deal with any type of stress you're under. Mm -hmm. But the more your body just gets hammered with stress, eventually your adrenal glands burn out. So surprise, surprise, the best way to support your adrenals, or one of the best ways, is to actually take supplements with clean bovine adrenal extracts in them. So uh, it for many reasons. Uh, one, they support the gland, like you said, mm -hmm. but adrenal glands are actually one of the best food sources of vitamin C. Really? So your body stores more vitamin C in the adrenal mm -hmm. glands than any other tissue. So when you when you eat adrenals or when you take an adrenal supplement, you're getting this powerful whole food matrix of vitamin C that doesn't just help your stress response, but your immune system mm -hmm. too. So we, we hand out a lot of cow parts, <laughs> but, but adrenals especially in our well, office. It is profound. A it's quick question before I forget it. Yeah. People who are worried about transmission of things in those glandulars, how careful is standard process and making sure that doesn't happen? Yeah, phenomenal. And, you know, the, the whole mad cow thing, uh, it's really not even an issue in the supplement industry. You know, that mm -hmm. was way overblown itself. But, but because of that, they took even extra measures. They've got a full time, you know, uh, biochemist lab you know, they're on site, every batch of anything that comes in, they're thoroughly screening it for anything, you know, that we could possibly be concerned with. So I love that. Yeah, it's it's screened to the hilt. And, you know, not normally do I do a podcast where we tend to kind of endorse or push a company. It's more about empowering with information. But I don't trust anybody else out there, honestly. And that's one reason Nutrition World's never really delved into glandulars because I was always leery of, sure. of the quality and the processing and the raw materials and the transmission. But with your 1929 beginnings and you have like, what's that, 90 plus years of Just experience? 90 years, Just yeah. 90, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, uh, and the stories I've heard and the way that I looked into it deeply, I have no qualms at all of taking any of your products. In fact, and many people may know this just all my ramblings, you know, I have chronic bursitis or something in my hip that just, it's kind of just the only thing I have to deal with, but I've just ordered some, uh, products that Misty, the great rep that yeah. you have, uh, that talk to somebody at your company that helps support synovial fluid and those things that surround a bursa. Well, I haven't started it yet. I'm going to start it. It makes such sense. Yeah. Why would we not 
empower our bodies with similar molecules. And I know in the medical field, they probably would laugh at this theory. Oh, absolutely. But that's quackery. It, yeah, <laughs> but but common sense doesn't laugh at it. Right. Uh, it just makes total sense that there's something inherent in a healthy tissue. Well, it's not quite like this, but let's say I needed a kidney transplant. I'm going to take, we're going to get one from someone else who's healthy and put it in me. Well, why can't we take some of their substance in them mm -hmm. and put it in me before I, if I don't need a full transplant, because that's going to support my own glands. It just makes such good common sense. Yeah. Why would someone not do that? I have a friend right now who, you know, has pretty low GFR, which is kidney function on the on a blood test. And I told him, I said, let's do the standard process kidney support stuff. And we're going to do that for eight weeks. And, and he's going to look because it's been very standard for so long that if it helps even a little bit, it yep. will be massively beneficial. I, I've seen some pretty cool changes in Have GFR. You? Yeah. Good. It, yeah. Uh, so, yeah. And, and a total little side topic, but if people are interested in actually getting back to foundational eating of getting those organ meats that contain those, mm -hmm. you know, unique proteins to eat a gland to, to support a gland. There are still places you can get it. There, there's a website, US Wellness Meats. Mm -hmm. Grasslandbeef.com is the website. Okay. And you can order a liver. You can order adrenal. Really? You can order a kidney. You can order a heart. Oh, you're saying you're actually going to do it and eat it? I would. <laughs> yeah. I would. I, I would do you. anything. I think I believe you. <laughs> I haven't met too many people that would, but I think you're actually going to, but literally any organ you can think of. And I, I like showing my patients when they come in and, you know, they're like, uh, why do I have to take these pills? I say, you don't, you know, here's a, here's a okay. place you can order all these glands. If you want to eat liver, uh -huh. knock yourself out. It's going to give you all those B vitamins. And the vast majority would just say, yeah. just give me the pill. I, yeah. <laughs> Pills are certainly easier and more convenient yeah. and probably less expensive, actually. Yes. So, yeah. um, well, any last words on this stress management? Any other tips that you would like to leave people with? Yeah. Well, uh, you know, the food is the, is the most important. You know, I use a lot of herbs in mm -hmm. my practice, but food is always the most foundational, starting with food, you know, because that, that's what your body literally uses every single day. Everybody, you know, needs mm -hmm. these nutrients. There's not one person that gets by without B vitamins mm -hmm. or those minerals. The herbs, you know, and there's great herbs uh, here at Nutrition World, like uh, plenty of ashwagandha mm -hmm. things, rhodiola. And those are phenomenal extra layer 21st century stress survival mm -hmm. uh, tools. That's what we're going to be talking about tonight for those that, you know, can tune into that uh, uh, presentation. Perfect. But uh, now more than ever is, is the biggest theme. These things have always been important. I would say to your listeners, if they doubt mm -hmm. that they're in need of these things, get themselves an aura ring and just see how they're doing. That will be the proof. If you think you're mm -hmm. doing completely fine with stress, I love that. Get yourself an aura ring, check your sleep quality, yeah. you know, but chances are that's going to reveal the truth that your nervous system, your whole body, mm -hmm. your your stress adaptation could use a little tune up. I wish I could have enough aura rings to do on a loner basis for oh, 30 yeah. days. Oh, that's a great idea. My partner, who's just retired from Vital Health Radio of four and a half years, Dr. Chris, Chris Green, I, uh, I got the upgraded aura, so I gave him my old one. He was one of those, just like everybody else, especially men. We're awful about just denying the truth. And he said, <laughs> I think I sleep okay. Uh, not great, but I sleep. Oh, did he find out otherwise yep. when he did that ring for a month? He was like, I don't know how I'm still functioning. So you mentioned heart rate variability. You know, that's one of the main things that RING assesses. Mm -hmm. uh, there was actually a study that found that was the most predictive, accurate risk factor for sudden cardiac death. Really? Heart rate variability. Well, I can tell you this. When I've had this RING almost a year now, and mine was, I'm not going to say the number, but my number has now gone up almost 40% wow. based on the fact that I knew where it was yep. and it gave me incentive to do better. Now, I still don't take the best care of myself with overwork and too much sleep and a little craziness in my life, but it put some pieces together for me that the HRV has gone up now. A, a and you said it number. measures the oxygen? Just as of this week. That's it measures awesome. oxygen All level. Right. So I think for people, and it's just a pure idea on myself, I really believe people may find that if they're running in the 80% oxygen, it's time to look into something. <laughs> yeah. Time, even 92% and less at night. So this will be awesome for changing people's health. And again, we don't do anything with it. Just go to Aura yeah. Ring on the internet and order it. If we should be getting sponsored to. by them. I know. <laughs> 
All right, Dave. Well, thank you so thank much. Thank you this so is much. a game changer. I do believe it's very, very practical, common sense, extremely safe. Why not do it? Because I, I, one thing I'll say is if we address stress, you're going to feel the difference. Yep. This isn't like we're going to reduce cancer rates. Well, you don't always feel the things that may do that because you just stay moderately well. But when you need more energy and more stamina and more this, that doesn't mean we're going to have perfect days. We're still going to have some Absolutely. days we slide off the, the cliff. And we're going to feel pretty lousy. But those just come with living, especially you know as we get older. But if 85% of your days can be pretty darn good, uh, that's better than the majority of people who are Amen. slugging through life right now. Yep. Slugging, and especially through the two years of COVID that knocked people from already not in a good place to a lower level, it's time to empower ourselves. And you do that not with medications because they don't support the body. They're there for emergency use and they're there to help save people's lives, but they're not there to build the long-term empowerment that we do as nutrition, I would call nutrition counselors, experts, and whatever. Thank you so much for Thank all you. you've done and uh, your experience with Standard Process. And we look forward to out another lecture or another podcast perhaps, because we talked about hyperbaric before we started this. Huge fan of hyperbaric right now. I'm actually doing it locally and uh, right down on East Brandon Road. And I love the effect I'm doing three times a week. If, you're, if your brain has been knocked down big time from stress, that is a great therapy to get your brain back. Hyperbaric oxygen. Love it. I know you got a lot of experience. We may want to delve into that. So thank you Sounds so great. much for joining us. Thank today, you. Dave.